on a splendid Indian summer's day during the week, we visited St. Mary's GA Club in Higginstown, Granard, to get their thoughts on the season so far. Paul, um, you're happy, I presume, with your season so far, apart from the latest result? Yeah, look at in general, we're pretty happy with uh, how Granard are going this year. This is my first year in with, uh, with the team, with the group. Um, I suppose we spent the first couple of months getting to know each other. Um, I needed to get a look at the players, see what sort of a game suited them. We sort of calibrated the game plan a little bit from the last couple of years, and they're they're taking really well to what we're what we're asking them to do. Um, I think we had a very a very competitive league. Um, we got some really good results, um, but then we had a couple of really sloppy results then as well, and that ultimately cost us. Um, you know, a crack at a semi-final place in the Leader Cup, and that was our goal at the start of the year as well to get get to the knockout stages of the of the league, as well as get to the knockout stages of the championship. But in general, we're very happy with how things are going so far. At the weekend, uh, were you surprised, or was it a case of taking the foot off the pedal? Well, it definitely wasn't a case of taking our foot off the pedal. Um, we went in with a clear um, clear goal of winning that game. We wanted to top the group. Um, but no, it was just a, a case of uh, we met an outstanding Clongish team and they had a very good evening at the office and we had a very bad evening at the office. So it just um, it made for a very difficult hour watching from our point of view. But look, you could not take away from Clongish. They were, they were absolutely outstanding. They were, I was really, really impressed with them. Um, they played some lovely football, uh, they have great pace, they have great power, some really potent forwards and they really brought us back down, back down there to the bangs. The fact that you're top in your group, or yeah, you yeah. know, that has that made a difference, let's say, locally? Yes, um, I would think in generally it would for any uh, club member or anyone that supports the club in general. We've gone through a lot of years. Like I'm in my second year as chair. I done two or three years as treasurer before that, and. I suppose uh, my role when I got involved with the club is obviously success. We all want success and uh, we want to be able to give the teams, every team, the opportunities to gain that success and that's about getting the players in the right, I suppose, frame of mind, um, getting the right management through all structures. We have a great underage set up here which is fantastic and it feeds into our senior team. We are, I suppose, as Paul explained a bit earlier, we're, we're a young team in general. We have older players, we have good leaders, um, but we are generally a young team. Uh, Eddie Smith, uh, full back line. Uh, Dylan Riley, half back line. Uh, Eddie, uh, how's your season gone so far? Um, so far so good. Glad to be in the quarter final and ready to mix it now with the bigger lads and hopefully prove that we deserve to be there. Very good. And uh, can you tell us is there much uh, is there much talk about the competition so far? Like you were top uh, at the group and then you had a, a late slip up there. Mm. Uh, feelings on that or how have people reacted to it? Ah, uh, well we've trained out tonight so I kinda have to get back on the horse and go for it again and put the loss behind us and ah, well, we always had a good bit of success in Granard like over the years but we never really got through it in the end but no we're going well and it's gonna happen eventually. Very good. Is there any other team either in the other half of the, the, the story that you think are doing particularly well? Yeah well look at I have seen an awful lot of games so far and in in the other group particularly as Kilo look like they're they're cruising at the moment, they have topped their group with a game to go. Um, but yet they had a, a bit of a misstep too, did they? Yeah, no, they had, but I'd say it was more a case of they took their foot off the pedal, maybe they arrested a few players, they knew that they were going to top the group regardless. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, I've seen them playing two or three times this year, I've been really impressed with them. But look, at you have you have the top teams, one in Yacht, are really, really hard to beat. They, they know how to yeah. grind out grind out games, get results when, you know, maybe other teams, I think, they have a chance of beating them. But they're, they're, they're very hard to beat. And then you have your county champions, of course, uh, Cullum Kill, they're coming into good form now at the right time of the year as well. So look, at the, any of the teams that's left now, and it's, um, they're going to be sticky opposition for, for anybody. As their training session came to a close, it was clear that this team were very united in their pursuit of success in this year's championship. Don't forget there is continuing coverage of Longford GAA club matches when this Sunday Longford Slashers take on Clonglish in the Longford Senior Hurling Final. You can see it all on Clubber TV at 3.30.
This is Mick Conlon wishing you all a happy viewing weekend from St Mary's GA Grounds in Granard County, Longford.